Okay, you've tuned into Wayne's Electrical then, and this is a test time video because up in front of the camera this time around is that case of test equipment. And can you remember the piece of test equipment that I dug out of there in the previous video? Because if you can, then we're going to be discussing that, and if you cannot, then I'm going to be opening up that case of test equipment now, getting that bit of uh, kit out of there, and we should be having a little talk about it. Now, we won't be doing any powered up of it, or plugging it in, or putting probes into it, or getting test results, nothing like that. It will just be a quick talk about it, and then in another video on another day, that is when I will be putting it in use, giving you a demonstration of uh, how it's jigged and poked and faffed, and uh, we'll go from there. So let me open that case of test equipment now, and get it out of there, and uh, let's have a talk about it. I don't have to go too far into the case because it's right at the front there. There it is, you can see it already. Let's just close that case up then. So there it is, sat on top of the case of test equipment. What is it? Right, what you're looking at there then is a wall socket test probe terminal. That's what I like to call it. Okay, there's probably other names for it and various different other manufacturers call it various different other names. But I like to call it a wall socket test probe terminal because you stuff it in a wall socket, uh, you put your test probes into it, and obviously speaking, any hole where you put something in is called a terminal. So, you know, I think I've pretty much hit it, uh, given it a good name there. It's a wall socket test probe terminal. Uh, it's made by Q-Tech, this one. And the, what they actually call their version of it is a Q-Check R2. Okay, it just says it down the side there. Let's see if I can get a little zoom on that for you. Right up the top there, there it is, Q-Tech, Q-Check R2, that's what they call it. Now on the front of it you can see three holes, let me just put it up the correct way. Up the top here then you've got your earth terminal, okay, as denoted by the little circle here, which is uh, yellow and green. This is your, uh, your, live, your live active phase hot, call it what you like. And this is indicated by red or brown. And over here we've got the neutral, which is uh, denoted by the blue and the black. Okay, so, you know, that's what it's for. And on the other side of that, if I flip it around, yeah, we got that. And this is why it's called a wall socket test probe terminal, because it's got a standard UK 3-pin plug on it. Okay, uh, if you know your stuff, then brilliant. If you don't, then what we're looking at there is a 13-amp kind of arrangement to British Standard 1363. And there we go. It's got sleeve, obviously got sleeving on the pins there. But there it is. And uh, yes, what you do with that then... Put it in the wall socket and then on the front of there you put your test probes in and you carry out the relevant test that you are wishing to carry out. It can be to see whether the socket's live or to see whether it's dead or check the voltage, uh, earth continuity, earth bonds, insulation resistance test, all of that. Okay. And, uh, yes, yeah, like I say, you don't have to put that into a wall socket, which is on a wall. It could be a socket on an extension lead, for example. When you're doing the continuity on a particular conductor on that extension lead, you use one of those so you can then obtain a good connection on the socket end of the extension lead. And you choose one of those holes on there, put the 
relevant test probe in the relevant hole and carry out the tests. You can do all of that hocus pocus with it. And yes, I'm pretty sure in another video on another day, I should be getting that piece of test equipment out and giving you a demo of how to use it. Okay, it's pretty easy, you know, it's not uh, overly complicated on how you use that, but it's what I'm trying to get at there when I say show you how to use it is basically it's not just a case of put it in there one single test and that's all you can do with it. You can do a multitude of tests with it, you can chop it, you can change it, you can slice it, you can dice it. You can do all sorts of various different tests with that. And if I was to tell you all of the tests that you could do with that most simple bit of test equipment, you might actually be quite surprised. So, I think we've covered it in this video then. Like I say, it's not too much to talk about. It's very simple, it's very basic. You put your test probes in there to carry out a certain particular test or a whole multitude of tests. It's got three pins on the back of it for going into a 13 amp outlet. Okay, I will say 13 amp outlet, not a wall socket, because like I've already said, that socket could be the socket end of a trailing, so uh, trailing socket on an extension lead. It doesn't have to be a wall mounted socket in a house or a factory or anything like that. It can just be merely a uh, trailing socket on an extension lead. Perfectly legitimate uh, use of that bit of kit up in front of the camera there. And there we go. So what I've got to do now is open up that case of test equipment and wiggle the finger around and choose another bit of test equipment which is going to be showing in the next video. So let's pull that camera back then. Let's open up that case of test equipment, wiggle the finger around and choose the bit of test equipment I'm going to be discussing in the next video which will be happening on another day. Just a little end teaser shall we say to keep you hooked in. Okay then, where do I start? Well, I've got to get the wiggly finger ready. Wiggly finger. Stop. Okay, I'm going to be discussing this in the next video. Okay, that's... We're going to be discussing that in the next video. So if you want to see that, and uh, you're not yet subscribed, then... Do it right now. Stop what you're doing. Whack that subscribe button. Really press it. Make sure, you know, you activate the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on what that is. We've discussed that in this video. In another video, on another day, we're going to be discussing that right there, which my finger is on, the wiggly finger, which chose that. And that is the next discussion subject. Okay, so I'm going to close the case of test equipment, and that wraps this video up. Okay, so if you can spin a big old thumb up, brilliant. Uh, do hang in there because, like I say, a little bit later on, I will get this out and give a demo of it. Okay, we connect test leads up to it, we get various different test results and all of that hocus pocus, and we'll go from there. And there it is. So let me just close the case up then, and that wraps that one up. Cheers for watching that one then. Thank you.